This is G.I. Joe Fan 2000 with another year in review video. And I'm sorry if I sound stuffed up when I first recorded this. But my voice will probably change. Anyways, let's begin. 2021 was the year that tested our leadership. It had a presidency that turned sour, an epidemiologist losing trust, and lockdowns being viewed as ineffective. The year opened up with a violent mob storm in Washington, D.C. and invaded the Capitol building in an attempt to overturn a 2020 U.S. presidential election. Just two weeks before Joe Biden's inauguration, the storm left four rioters and one police officer dead. After this, Donald Trump was banned from most social media platforms, allegedly for instigating violence and spreading misinformation. Shortly afterwards, a historic impeachment trial started for him and it was impeached a second time, becoming the first and hopefully only U.S. president to be impeached twice. Like with the first impeachment, he was acquitted. Joe Biden was denied as the 46th president of the United States and Kamala Harris became the first female and first Asian American vice president. During his first as president, Joe Biden signed a flurry of executive orders, over 42 in fact. They include tackling the COVID-19 pandemic, climate change, and blocking the Keystone XL pipeline. He also had the U.S. re-enter the World Health Organization and the Paris Climate Accord. COVID-19 cases continued with the global number of cases reaching over 272 million and the global number of deaths reaching over 5 million. We had over 50 million cases and over 800,000 deaths in the U.S. alone. While India became a new hotspot and surpassed over 35 million cases and over 474,000 deaths. All this happened under a massive vaccination campaign along with some new variants. Parler was removed by major tech giants such as Google, Apple, and Amazon. Their reason is that it was promoting violence. While Parler CEO said otherwise, the upcoming Canadian video platform Rumble sued Google over antitrust laws. PBS stopped airing reruns of Caillou after over 20 years. They also announced that the long-running offer would be ending after 25 years. Roger Craig Smith announced he was stepping down from voicing Sonic the Hedgehog after 10 years of voicing the character. Eventually, Smith came back to the role. GameStop stock shot up and were restricted by Robin Hood after Reddit exposed Wall Street. Farmers in India staged one of the largest protests in history over a new bill passed by the Indian government. A coup occurred in Myanmar with the military taking power. Protests have occurred as a result. Military attacks on protesters have so far killed at least 883 people. Jeff Bezos stepped down as Amazon CEO of Andy Jassy as his replacement. Amazon also announced it would purchase MGM. Winter storms swept across America that February. The hardest hit place was the state of Texas. And Senator Ted Cruz received much criticism for his trip to Cancun, Mexico. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo came under fire for his response to the COVID-19 pandemic in New York nursing homes. Shortly followed by accusations of sexual harassment among other controversies. Most of the women accused him were each to the governor, both former and current. Other controversies surfaced such as Cuomo giving his family and close to support his chest before everybody else. Eventually, Cuomo resigned and Kathy Hoochie took over, becoming the first female governor of New York. Joe Biden signed a $1 trillion relief bill that was passed in the Senate with no Republican support in any way. He has also planned to improve America's infrastructure by raising taxes. Tiger Woods was involved in a car accident, while another car accident occurred in California near New Mexico border. A tractor trailer struck an SUV carrying 25 people, killing 13 of them. It is being investigated as a case of human smuggling. That March, a man killed eight people in a series of shootings at massage parlors around Atlanta. Six of them were women of Asian descent. This happened as attacks against Asian Americans have reached an unprecedented high. Not long afterwards, a shooting at King Supers in Boulder, Colorado left 10 people dead. Shortly followed by a shooting in an office building in California left four people dead, including a nine-year-old boy. A man killed eight people at an Indianapolis FedEx facility before taking his own life. And finally, a shooting at a rail yard in San Jose, California left nine people dead. These events have slightly reignited the gun drill debate. The container ship Evergreen got stuck in the narrow waters of the Suez Canal, blocking it and causing major disruption to track traveling between the Red Sea and the Mediterranean Sea for six days before being freed. A vehicle ram attack in Washington, D.C. left the perjurer and the police officer dead. Derek Chauvin was found guilty in the murder of George Floyd. During that trial, a kid named Dante Ray was shot and killed by a police officer allegedly mistaking her gun for a taser just 10 miles from the courthouse where the trial was underway. Eventually, Chauvin was sentenced to 22 and a half years in prison. Joe Biden officially recognized the Armenian Genocide, the first president to do so in 40 years. The Colonial Pipeline temporarily shut down after being hacked by Russian hackers, causing people to panic by gasoline. Israel conducted airstrikes along the Gaza Strip in a fight between Israel and Hamas. The crisis left over 240 people dead and 700 others injured. Eventually, a ceasefire was called. A Ryanair flight was involved in a suspected state-sponsored hijacking conducted by the Belarusian government. 
in which critic Andronos Roman Prazevich was detained after the plane had landed in Belarus. Joe Biden visited Tulsa, Oklahoma for the 100th anniversary of the Tulsa race riot. Shortly afterwards, he made Juneteenth a new national holiday, commemorating the end of slavery. Benjamin Netanyahu was removed from power as Israel's Prime Minister. A condo collapse in Florida left 98 people dead and 11 others injured, with 126 who survived. Bill Cosby was released from prison after only serving three years of a 10-year sentence. And a heatway struck western North America, resulting in at least over 853 estimated deaths and also caused wildfires. Particularly in British Columbia, Canada. In extreme cases, the wildfires had their own weather. And this concludes part one looking back at 2021. Until then, this is G.I. Joe Fan 2001 wishing you a stay safe and I'll see you for part two.